I'm gonna try my best to record in public. Hey y'all. Good, it's afternoon I think. I know it probably looks like I just got up, but that's not true. I decided to go ahead and pick up the camera because it is my YouTube day. It's crazy to think that I actually have YouTube days when I don't really post. <laughs> But I decided to pick up the camera today because one, every time I've been doing a lot lately <laughs> and I haven't been doing good with um, showing you guys. So I'm trying to get the muscle memory back to pick up the camera. I mean, I pay for this expensive camera. And it's like, girl, use it. So I'm getting ready to go pick up um, something I don't got no money for but it's paid for at the moment. We'll see how good it goes. But I had bought the new iPad, 11 inch Apple <laughs> iPad. Now what's so funny about this is I actually recently bought the fifth generation iPad 2022 version. If you don't know by now, Apple dropped a brand new one on March 15th. I ended up returning that one because I found out about the new Apple Pencil having like all these new features, fine mine and everything like that. And plus the price drop of the one that I got. So in my mind, I'm like, oh, well, let me go ahead and get, return this one, get the new iPad or get the uh, one I just had again because of the price drop. Now I got it from Walmart which is the reason why I just didn't do a price adjustment situation. Cause transparency, I get everything off of payments because I don't like spending a lot of money at one time on one thing. So I just do a bunch of payments. So I'm kind of like, all right, if anything, I just want to watch the price because the new, the new Apple iPad is the same. It was cheaper than what I paid for the old gen. And then the old gen dropped in price. So I'm like, either way, I got to give this back because I paid $100 more for an older generation. And then the new generation is the same exact price of like comparable pricing to basically what I paid. So anyway, the gen that I had dropped probably like $200 cheaper. This is exactly why TikTok is toxic because it makes me believe that I can be more productive than I'm already not. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and wait until... Walmart has the new iPad in stock because if you don't know if you do payments like a firm or whatever everything that is really big in pricing is cheaper on Walmart specifically so I want it specifically because I didn't want to know high payments if I was going to do payments and Walmart's going to be the cheapest for payments so I wanted to wait until it was in stock because it had it online but I didn't want to risk when I heard all these horror stories with Walmart with the drivers um stealing product and then you, so you still having to pay for it so baby what is that lord knows I know I should be putting on <laughs> almost killed myself through thing. I rebuked that. So I didn't want to deal with the horror stories of that. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to wait until it gets in stock because the pricing doesn't look like it's going to change. At least that was my plan. Well, the second gen iPad ended up going up to $700. The one that was like $650, the, the fifth gen one, it dropped down to like $499. I should have really just rebought it and then bought myself time to see what would happen, but I didn't have no idea. A part of the reason why I decided to return it is because I don't, I didn't really like the old generation pencil situation. I don't like the multi-tapping. I don't like to, to move the pencil here, drop back here and change it to text and then come back here. And this, this whole situation with the Apple pencil life. I don't like that. So with the new Apple Pencil, you can just squeeze it and then it'll automatically hover over your pencil. You can choose what you want to do and keep it pushing. So I don't know. I'm very new to this whole iPad and also digital planning, which is the reason why I even got the iPad in the first place. And I'm trying to see what I like. How I can make the best sound decision for me and me only and not 
pay attention to social media because at the end of the day, it's about what I deem important and not what other people deem important. This reminds me of this book that I just discovered. I haven't read it yet, but I really want to. Let me let me see if I can find it. I recently discovered this book on Facebook and I'm going to get it. It's called The Courage to Be Disliked and it looked like this. It says it's the Japanese phenomenon that shows you how to free yourself, change your life and achieve real happiness. And then when I go through the thing of what they said this book is like it says the seven lessons from this book is freedom from the past the book emphasizes the idea that one can free themselves from the constraints of their past and choose to live differently in the present it encourages re readers to have the courage to change their perspectives and behavior rather than bound by past experiences or social expectations Overcoming inferiority. This just sounds like everything I need in my life. And that's, this reminds me, this is something we might actually do today. Because I recently discovered in Tampa, they have this bookstore and they only sell black African-American books. What? Like, I didn't even know this was a thing. So, uh, although I am very kind of cheap, but expensive. It makes no sense. I don't know. Hold on. So the idea of me actually paying, this is why I don't go to Barnes and Nobles and stuff because I'm too cheap. This is why I do a uh, Kindle Unlimited bus. And by the way, I have so many books to read on Kindle Unlimited. And this is the toxic trait of Kindle because they made me to believe that I'm a Kindle girl and I bought a Kindle and I'm going to use it. I'm going to make myself a schedule to use my Kindle because I can't return it. I haven't used it, barely any, touched it at all. It's ridiculous, actually. Anyway, so we might go to back to the bookstore and at least check it out. I might not get nothing, but if the lady who runs the bookstore is there, I'm going to tell you right now, she might get me to buy something because I'm going to feel bad that I go in this uh, bookstore and not, not support the business. But I feel like I'm supporting it by telling y'all about it. But I'm also really cheap because I can't spend $20 on the book. I'm sorry. When I already spend $17 a month on Audible. Then I spend sometimes for extra books, $7 additional to every single month paying the $20. Then I already pay $12.99 $12 a month for Kindle Unlimited. And then I bought a Kindle. I, I think I'm done for the most part. My bestie just called me, so I want y'all to say hey. I know she's probably mad at me. It's the second time. Hey, stranger. <laughs> I was just telling them say hey hey y'all <laughs> <Bye. laughs> yeah i said i was gonna uh record today and be a good you know person okay good good for you I thought i'll see y'all when i'm on the way So I just pulled up and the bookstore is right over here. And that is it right here. So we're gonna go ahead and pull up. It has a little section over here. So I just pulled out on the middle of the street. I'm gonna try my best to record in public. Probably even ask them about it, make sure they're cool with it. But <laughs> y'all know how I am about feeling in public. But I really want to get content, so. Let's see if I cannot be weird. This is so cute. Oh my God.
This is so cute. Thanks. Oh, this is so amazing. I didn't even know y'all was over here. Oh, really? Oh, okay. I'm right on time. Exactly. All right, so I officially left the bookstore. That was such a cute situation. I don't know if I actually got great footage. <sighs> I did my best. The thing is, is that I ended up talking to the lady in there who was actually the daughter of the city councilman woman that um, runs that store. So I guess she operates the store with her mom and they decorated the place. The place is so cute. I did not expect to get anything, but I felt bad. So I ended up buying something. I stayed there way longer than I actually should have, but I had a good time. Uh, there's a lot of books there. I would say honestly though, um, it's a little difficult to um, figure out. Like you need to go there knowing what you want, if that makes sense. Cause it's not really staged out. The bookstore is not really huge either. It's not really like staged out in a way to where it is easy. You can just look around like a regular library or regular bookstore because they don't have like prominent um, signs and things like that. But I still think it's worth going to. Uh, they had a lot of uh, like history like books understandably they also had a lot of artist books i should have asked if they had an online website because that would be actually really extremely helpful i ended up buying this book which i just seen in passing i really didn't want but it was like one of the cheaper books so i bought it anyway so it's probably gonna just be a little cute read it's this book right here and i seen it in passing i did end up getting the Apple products. I do have that as well as the uh, the iPad. So it's been a shopping, it's a shopping day. So I need to like tread lightly, be careful because the way my pockets is operating is on E. I'm gonna go ahead and focus on the road, and we'll talk soon. currently back at the house and I'm about to do a mini unboxing situation so I have again the 11 inch m2 new iPad Air I got this magic keyboard now I don't know if this magic keyboard is compatible with this it did say on the Apple website that it is but I don't know and then I don't even know if this is the newest one because on the back of here it says fourth and fifth gen. So I'm just gonna guess. I did get this at a $50 discount, so that's that. And then the Apple Pencil Pro and some new Beats um, headphones because I have been going headphone crazy, okay? I recently, which I did not show, I recently just bought the MX4s by Sony, kept that for a week, returned it. I did get the uh, Studio Beats Pros. Those were on sale for like $170 and I bought and returned those. And I just determined that I am this girl. I already know what this like because I actually have three pairs of this. <laughs> I have a lot of headphones. I feel like I can give her headphone reviews. But let's do a mini unboxing and first impressions. So now we're going to start off with the most important one. I'm not gonna really do the beats on here because they're just headphones. I had them plenty of times. Um, they're really old. Nobody really checking for them anyway. So this is not gonna be like a professional unboxing because this ain't that. But I just give a realistic, basic person <laughs> or average person's review. 
this is the purple color and this is what that looks like this is very light in person I'm already marking it up look <laughs> oh now one thing I didn't notice about these box it's just the box that has the design nothing else Ooh. well dang this is why I'm not an unboxing channel who reads this not me I'll just look at TikTok like everybody else. This is the pen. Oh my God, what is that? It honestly doesn't feel, well, it feels slightly different. But the crazy thing is I expected it to be like a little squeeze because one of the features on this is like you squeeze and everything. But there's no physical like clicking button or anything. It's just the pencil. I guess it's here. Dang, that's kind of strong. Now let's go ahead. This is the one I'm kind of like, I don't know if this is going to work. And it's like, how am I supposed to test this out too if the iPad is updating it? So I am running, running, running all the time. Here is this. It's kind of lightweight. I got the one in black, by the way, as you can kind of see. Now has the Apple logo right there. And, ooh, this other stuff, which I don't care about. So this is what it looks like. Now, from the videos, I should be able to, uh, you know what I'm saying? This is cute or whatever. And let's go ahead here. It's supposed to, I think, just stick, right? Let me try to close it. Well, the clothes is good. As much as I wanted this to be a full-blown first impressions, it's not looking that way. Because your girl got to go because I have a shift now. <laughs> so I do have to get up out of here. But I am going to take this with me, see how I feel about everything. Definitely love you guys. See you guys in the next clip or video. All right. So I'm actually back. <laughs> it's not too long later. I ended up canceling that shift and here we are on a new shift. I set everything up with the iPad and the pencil, everything. There was a lot of tutorial parts anyway. So I'm like, how was I going to do that anyway? Who knows? But I did set everything up and I just kind of want to go over it once again, because like I said, this ain't my life, but I'm trying to show y'all what I think. My first impressions. I just realized that you can't fold it back. It has to be like in this angle situation. So that is very interesting. The placement of the keys, the keyboard doesn't feel too small. It feels comfortable. Um, the trackpad feels a little small, but it's, it's doable. Let's go ahead and show you guys what it looks like to look at the screen. The biggest thing for me is the reason why I got this is for the good notes. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my good notes. This is probably a good time to try out the new Apple Pencil. Let's go ahead and try the squeeze. So I squeezed. And now I can hover and choose. Let's choose. I don't know. If y'all see as I get close, you can see the hovering. So let's go ahead and try hello. <laughs> I guess I did choose that, huh? That's kind of annoying. Hello. I don't have good handwriting, so. One thing I can say is not as comfortable at this angle to do any drawing. So it's good for like quick stuff, maybe like a quick note. You will really have to like figure out how you want to write at this type of angle. 
I can say if you do um, any texting, you have a whole keyboard, so you don't have to battle the. How do let's go to racer. Because if you use the text tool and do text the right, do you really need um, an iPad for good notes? I'm definitely going to have to finish messing with these uh, and see how I feel. But I think it's pretty good. This is probably going to be all. I'm not really sure. I had a good time. Spent a little bit of time with you guys. I love you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.